Breaking this morning, the International Criminal Court has announced it is seeking arrest warrants for Israeli and Hamas leaders, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. According to the ICC's chief prosecutor, leaders, the leaders are responsible, rather, for war crimes and crimes against humanity in Gaza and Israel. The request still has to be approved by judges from the court. Meanwhile, Netanyahu is under growing pressure to make post-war plans, plans for Gaza. Our MTS Tayyip has more from Jerusalem. Good morning. Well, thousands of Israelis from across the country are currently making their way here to Jerusalem to call for a deal to release all of the hostages still in Gaza and for an end to the war. The rally comes as bitter divisions in Israel's three-member war cabinet spill out into the open. Benny Gantz is threatening to walk out unless there's a plan which would see Israel hand over post-war control of Gaza to another acceptable power, a plan Yoav Gallant, who's also part of the war cabinet, agrees with, saying leaving Israeli forces in charge would be a mistake. In response, Netanyahu defiantly insisted Israel will maintain open-ended security over the besieged Palestinian territory. But if the prime minister's partners walk out, he would then have to rely even more on the far-right extremist parties in his government who are not only calling for the reoccupation of Gaza, but also the construction of Israeli settlements there. Now, further complicating things, we're learning that the International Criminal Court in The Hague are seeking arrest warrants for Hamas leader and October 7th attack mastermind Yahya Sinwar and Prime Minister Netanyahu on charges of war crimes and crimes against humanity. Emery. MTS, thank you.